All right, Buster, come on. Let's go see. So this morning, now we're on the other side of the water. There's downtown Yarmouth in the distance. What's this danger sign? Oh, <clears throat> contaminated sh shellfish. That's not good. So you can't eat the shellfish out of the water. Obelisk over here. Let's go check this out. And apparently, this is called Bunkers Island over there from the war, used during the War of 1812 as a fort. Very interesting. That's it over there in the, in the distance. And here we are, we're at Cape Forshoe Lighthouse or Light Station. This is uh, so where they filmed the movie The Lighthouse with uh, Willem Dafoe, uh, not too, a couple years ago maybe. We'll just have a quick walk around here. Now we are on Leif Erikson Trail. Interesting. Let's see where this goes. So this sign here says that there's a Viking connection possibly um, and it's named after the famous North, Norse explorer, son of Eric the Red, Leif Erikson, who may have visited these shores sometime around 1000 AD. And there's an old runic stone that was discovered at the head of Yarmouth Harbor in 1812. Very cool. this there's the skeleton of I guess a giant whale there is no sign that I see here donation box but no sign let's see if this is it no huh So here we are at the top at Cape Forshoe Light Station. There's been a lighthouse operating here since uh, 1832. It's quite a famous landmark in the uh, Yarmouth area. Let's see if we can get a better view. It's usually quite a busy place in the summer, but uh, because of COVID, unfortunately, not a lot of tourists, especially down this part of Nova Scotia, which is unfortunate. Hopefully that's not too windy on the microphone, but yeah, this is Cape Forshoe.
All right, we're gonna go check out this little beach. Just found this little path through the roses here. We're just down the road from Cape Forshoe. Let's see. Sorry about the wind. Oh yeah, quite a nice little beach. And there's barely anyone that lives there. These guys got this thing all to themselves. Wow. Beautiful. Nice little beach. Now, just ran across the road from that other little beach. And here's another one. Beautiful. Completely untouched. Tide is out a bit. Wow. Very beautiful. All right, here we are. Looks like the remnants of an old barge, maybe, maybe a wharf, but it looks more like a wooden barge. Not too sure. Yeah, just stuck in this inlet and it looks like there used to be some sort of pier. There's a bunch of wood sticking out. Surrounded by the Nova Scotia wild roses. Yeah, hard to say. I think maybe that was a barge. Tide is out. Tide is out. Little fishing shack here. Oh, and you should see the seaweed. We'll go over there in a second. Just gonna see there's a there's a red warning sign on this pole here, so I'll go check that out. See what the danger is. Oh, it's another shellfish area closed. Oysters, clams, mussels, and other bivalve mollusks. They're contaminated. Not safe for consumption, unfortunately. Wow, that's too bad. That is too bad. Here's another shot of that beach. Absolutely beautiful seaweed covered rocks all right well it's a little windy but we're just coming down off Cape Horseshoe and uh, I'm gonna show you the seawall that they built here they have to pile the rocks so that uh, when the when the water comes in it, it doesn't flood out the road so they built this rock wall which you'll see all over but then they have the cement wall tide is out now uh, a bit so but yeah these roads would be filled with uh, with the surf crashing over the side it's uh it's a big problem especially when we get the remnants of hurricanes and storm surges it can be uh can be quite bad washed out roads and then i don't know if you can see this where the tide has gone out there's all these little birds feeding down here Oh, there they go. I must have scared them off. Wow. And then, yeah, the, this wall here stretches for quite a bit. And it has a little cap on the other side to make sure the water doesn't come over it. Now, I'm gonna jump in the car and we're gonna go in through the, uh, where they have all the lobster boats, traps and everything, all the docks. It's quite interesting. Go take a look at that. Pretty unique scenery. 